Hey guys and welcome back. I just want to say thanks to all you subscribers out there. This channel will not be possible thanks to you. And remember, if you have any suggestions, comments, or ideas for other videos, whether it's for the Mavic 3 or the DJI Mini 3 Pro, um, just leave them in the suggestions down below in the comments area because this video was uh, suggested by one of the users who who uh, emailed me directly. Anyway, it's for those who want to use their um, teledrone with the PlayStation receiver. Really cool feature. If you've seen the tele um, drone, you could also use it via scratch coding if you use the scratch plugin for scratch 3.0 or there's actually an earlier version of scratch that it works with but you know since pro software has changed um, if you're running the latest version it actually works with 3.0 or if you have a playstation controller you could actually control the drone that way which is really neat um, so it has many advantages uh, because, as you know, flying the drone with the phone, going up, down, left, right, and the next thing you know, doo -doo -doo, you'll get a text notification or your phone will start ringing. And it really does ruin the drone flying experience for the Tello. Um, so this is one solution. You have via Scratch, which I'll leave a link at the end of this video, or, which is even better, through the um, PlayStation controller. Okay, all right, so let's get started. So what you'll see before you is these are the keys. These are the keys that you can use to control the drone, right? So you have the 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 up, down, the left, right, etc. But to actually um, program the, the, the PlayStation controller, right? What you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to hold the remote in your hand, press the PlayStation button, and I call it the top left button because there's no name for it on the chart as you can see and then things will start flashing I see like a nice blue crisp blue then you go into your your iPad or your phone right and you go into your Bluetooth settings and once you do that you see there it is dual sense wireless controller and you select it once you select it it'll auto populate into your Bluetooth devices right see that voila all right and then what you're gonna do is um, go into the Wi-Fi settings but before you do that turn the drone on okay because you're not going to be able to um, see the drone uh, this is for first-time users or just connect to it via Wi-Fi the way you would when you use the your phone to control the drone okay so now that you've connected to the Wi-Fi settings uh, that automatically selects what you're going to do is you're going to open up the Tello app okay so once the Tello app is open right You'll, it'll see, you'll see these screens, the different flight modes, as long as you're connected to it. And now to launch the drone, right, what you're going to press is the R2 key, right, and the triangle, which is also known as the Y key, which is in the diagram, as you can see. Okay. All right. So we press that. All right. And the triangle and voila. See, look at that. The drone takes off. Kind of neat, huh? I like that. And it's so much easier to control. You can go right. You can go left. You can go up. You can go down. See how it's just so fluid? And everything happens in real, real time. There's no delay like there is when you're using your keyboard on your Macintosh or PC. And you see, you can do that. You can flip. And of course, the flip, voila. You can use the hot keys to flip, which are in the diagram below, right? Um, and so what you want to do is I'm going to bring the drone back a little bit so we can land it uh, safely so we have more battery time for later and um, let's see this is a little bit tricky I just want to land it right there voila on the sofa and there you go remember to always keep the DJI app open okay otherwise the um, the, the, you did you, you'll the drone will disconnect so remember keep tello open and you're fine so you might want to put your phone into um disable calls um and that's it i hope this video helped you and you're better able to decide whether or not you want to get that playstation remote to control the tello drone feel free to leave your comments and suggestions down below and I'll see you all next time.